décrire des graphiques en anglais. Les types de graphiques. A pie chart. A histogram or bar chart. A table. A line chart. A time chart. An organizational chart. A flow chart. Le vocabulaire utile pour décrire un euh, graphique. Chart, graph, a diagram. The title, above, below, an axis, two axes, the horizontal axis, x axis, the vertical axis, y axis. A scale, data, des données, attention, qui est indénombrable, c'est pour ça que vous avez entrecroché ici un U. Hein. On ne pourra pas mettre au pluriel, il est déjà au pluriel ce terme, on ne pourra pas mettre a data. Quand on voudra parler d'une donnée, ce sera a datum. A label, a legend, or a key. Comment introduire maintenant, comment présenter un graphique Exemple. The graph shows this is not a recent phenomenon. The diagram outlines the process in detail. The chart represents the salary gap. The graph depicts per capita consumption. The graph shows. The diagram outlines. The chart represents or depicts. Euh, on fera attention à bien utiliser le présent simple hein, pour euh, euh, décrire le contenu d'un graphique. Et on veillera bien à rajouter un S au, à la troisième personne du singulier. Euh, donc, the graph shows, the graph represents, the graph depicts. Autres expressions utiles. The table lists the current prison population in the country. From the graph, it is clear that ever larger numbers of people are using social networks. It can be seen from the graph that it has had a very negligible impact. The table lists. From the graph, it is clear that. It can be seen from the graph that. Autres expressions. As can be seen from the graph, costs are expected to increase in the future. As is shown, illustrated by the graph, demand declined dramatically. As can be seen from the graph, as is shown, illustrated by the graph. Euh, dans ces exemples-là, on a affaire à la voix passive. Exemple, it can be seen. Euh, as can be seen, as is shown, illustrated. Pour rappel, la voix passive qui se... Euh, euh, forme avec l'auxiliaire B suivi du participe passé et souvent qui va être rendu en français par l'expression euh, on. Comment maintenant évoquer des mouvements vers le haut avec des verbes Carbon dioxide emissions have peaked. Crime rates and drug use have soared. Home prices have climbed 80%. The rate of unemployment increased by 5% in 2017. To peak To soar, to climb, to increase. Euh, alors, euh, les temps qui sont utilisés dans ce cas-là, le present perfect, qui permet de faire un bilan dans le présent, have peaked, have soared, have climbed. Donc, euh, on considère des données jusqu'à la période présente et, et on, on voit l'impact qu'ils peuvent avoir sur le présent. Par contre, dans le cas où on va citer une date précise dans le passé et que ça n'a plus de lien avec le présent, donc, on va utiliser le prétérite. Exemple, increased in 2017. Mouvement vers le haut, toujours. Unemployment has risen from an estimated 6.7%. The price is up by $3 as compared to December. Overtime has gone up by over a third. To rise, to be up, ou bien to go up. Toujours des mouvements vers le haut, mais cette fois des noms. A peak, a jump. An increase, an upswing, growth, an extension, an expansion, progression, an upward trend. Maintenant, euh, quelques expressions euh, pour exprimer un mouvement vers le haut. To reach an all-time high, to reach a peak, or to break a record. Pour exprimer la stabilité maintenant, the numbers have stayed the same. The prices remain stable. The price in 1996 stayed 
constant at $13 a kilo. The situation has stabilized to stay the same, to remain stable, to stay constant, to stabilize. Uh, autre expression pour exprimer la stabilité. Um, the number of new jobs has leveled off over the past three years. The graph shows stable results compared with 2007. To level off, stable results. Pour exprimer un mouvement vers le bas, the deficit decreased in the following two years. Unemployment went down again to 8.3%. The results have declined, but Finland still ranks among the top countries. The results collapsed across all trials. To decrease, to go down, to decline, to collapse. Toujours un mouvement vers le bas. The benefits for the single parent dropped by 3.5%. The results fell by an average of 0.9%. The price of gold in 2013 plunged by more than 25%. The price of oil is plummeting. To drop, to fall, to plunge, to plummet. Uh, des noms pour euh, exprimer euh, un mouvement vers le bas. A decrease, a slump, a cut, a reduction, a fall, a drop, a plunge. A decline, a collapse. Vegetable prices fluctuate according to the season. The market zigzag during the day. To fluctuate, to zigzag, pour indiquer le petit changement, gently, gradually, slightly, steadily, uh, de grand changement cette fois, suddenly, sharply, dramatically, Steeply. Uh, voici maintenant un exemple. Voilà le tableau suivant. Et voici, en divisé en différentes parties, les commentaires sur ce tableau. The bar chart illustrates the number of men and women studying engineering at Australian universities between the years 1992 and 2012 at 10-year intervals. It can be seen that the number of male students fell slightly from, from 14,000 in 1992 to 12,000 in 2002, and then remained level through the following decade. The number of female students is relatively low, starting at 2,000 in 1992. However, while the number of men decreased, the number of women increased. Female students grew steadily by 2,000 each decade. This led to a rise in the num total number of engineering students from 16,000 to 18,000 in this period. Men continue to make up the majority of students. However, the proportion of female students increased sharply in this period. In 1992, there was one woman to every seven men. But by 2012, this had narrowed to one woman to every two men. Overall, we can see a clear upward trend in the number of female engineering students in Australian universities, while the number of male students seems to have leveled off.